everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to our single-player Dominions campaign where we are using Somber's Warhammer Fantasy Mod to play Skaven Blight. Uh, let's jump into things. So, uh, we have completed Alteration 6. We're trying to get to Alteration 7 so that we can do uh, Invulnerability, Soul Vortex, Phoenix Pyre, um, plus potentially other stuff on our Grey Seers, um, which... Might be optimistic. I don't know if that's going to work out, but we'll see. Uh, Gnome Lore. We're trying to do a bit of sight searching. Augury. Dark Knowledge. Found a Garden of Burns. Uh, that's cool. Um, Boys of Apsu. Arcane Probing. Blah, 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 blah. We have been magic phased in Glanus. By more Great Hawks. Where's Glanus? Uh, we did a little bit of blood hunting, and we've got... I I hate. Why is Middenheim attacking us now? I don't I don't understand. Like this game, I swear. We attacked in Jira and we won. We were attacked in Barm uh, by a single heavy cav and we won. All right, we got attacked in New Mecria. Were we patrolling there? I think we were patrolling there. We were not patrolling there because we didn't have enough in the territory, so I was concerned, yeah. Which means Middenheim is now sitting on top of New Mecria. Cool. Cool! Ah, we attacked in Tenera. We won there. What was that? A blood ground marker. Let's take a look at that. This is one of the Beastland mechanics. So I don't know if this is something that we're going to have to worry about. This is... Yeah, very little bl marker, like a little baby monolith, right? Um, oh, they provide tax collection. That's really all they are. Because cause Beastlands doesn't have forts. So these are the, the you know, coded in kind of way that Beastlands gets uh, money from their provinces. Uh, yeah, it doesn't even have any attacks. It's just... It's just a single entity. Cool. Well, that's the case. This is relatively simple. Cool. Uh, that was Tenera. And then we also attacked into uh, Hidden Realm. And we were defeated there. Five Chaos Warhounds and two Tuscor Chariots. Now, where is Hidden Realm? Unexpected event in Grain Coast. Foresight has led to your minions to locate a rich seam of precious warpstone. Sweet. Got some golden bay pond. Also sweet. Um, found shadow imps in a number of locations. Wait. It was all just in <laughs> in Scape of Light. Gotcha. Under siege in Glanas and under siege in New Mecria. Why you do this to me? A crabby. Every time I see your name, I'm always like, I am not. Hmm, I, I is it odiosities or audiosities? Otiosities. It sounds. It looks like like curiosities or something like that to my brain. But I'm. I every time I'm always like, hmm. You always feel like there needs to be some sort of Warhammer themed map style for Map Nuke or a custom map when the Warhammer mod is being used. Absolutely. So um, I actually tried. There is a custom map of the Warhammer War world on um, the Steam Workshop. I tried that the first time I played the Warhammer mod when I back when I started the um, Vampiria game, um, and it looks really cool, but it's very unpolished, right? Like the connections are really weird on it and kind of bad in a lot of situations, and it feels very meh. Um, and the, there's not really like fixed starts. It's kind of like randomized starts. Uh, and the, kind of like the way it, it just, 
it looks pretty, but it does not feel good to play with the way the connections are. There's different pronunciations for American English versus Briti British English. The last pronunciation I said is the American English. Otios, like loss, without the L. Uh, Otis, Otiosities. Gotcha. All right. I will try to remember that, and I will probably forget. I apologize, but it's cool. Yeah, it's just, it's just, um, I, I also had that idea. Like, I really, really wanted to do Warhammer on a Warhammer map. Um, I like the idea of, like, a Warhammer-themed map style for Map Nuke, though. That would be pretty neat as well. Okay, we got Middenheim is now being a thorn in my side. Hi yay yay. Hi ya. Okay, the Blackhawks are somewhat annoying. I actually think the Blackhawks won't really do very well just against um guys. Commander. Full attack. Honestly, Blackhawk Blackhawks really are not very strong units, so hopefully that is enough to kind of just do whatever. Pop off over here. And I think we're gonna just try to raid these lands. And be a fucking asshole, because he's being an asshole to me, so let's try to be an asshole to him. Fuck it. Okay, we don't have to patrol with all of these anymore. Search. Search. Our respects. Uh, we're going to put Queek's gear on him. Uh, 22 protection, right? 29 protection after the helm and the boots of stone. That's pretty nice. Uh, boots of stone are... Okay, plus six. Pretty decent. The plus three strength off of the Girdle of Might is pretty nice. Uh, we definitely want to break Siege. We do not want... Um, to be stuffed like this. Oof.
What, where did we get hit with in Hidden Realm? Oh, there were just two Tuscor chariots hanging out there. Of course there were. Tuscor chariots are the bane of my existence. Just the bane of my existence. Try to put up riches from beneath. You know what I should try to do? I should probably go to enchantment um, seven and try to put up e Earth Earthblood Deepwell. That actually does make sense. I mean, so does the riches from beneath. Just like less of a. Are we going to conjuration seven? I actually don't know. So, yeah, let's go to Enchantment 7 after the pack. Uh, two more turns for Alt 7. It looks like. I want to patrol. I, I kind of don't want to get... We keep getting stuffed by you know, stupid things like Ox. That I kind of want to stop that from happening anymore. Patrol, and I think actually we patrol here as well. That. This guy picks up all of these, this, and he heads this way. This is going on Squill, right? Thanks for the follow, Evil Mordecai. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing well. We are just tra trapped between a rock and a hard place and a cow. So, <laughs> so uh, things are things are a little rough at the moment, but we're making do with some stuff. We actually this is uh, starting to become a pretty decent uh, sized army that I'm hoping. We will be able to reinforce relatively well pretty soon. Um, I don't know that I can do monthly.
What do we want to put on Squeal? Could give him some actual protection, right? So we could forge a Armor of the Knights. Pretty low on um, Earth Gems, though. Careful. I think actually we do want to kind of be chill about that. Oh shit, where did we... Um, oh, our only skull staff is right here. We make another. That's easy. Totally make another skull staff. Uh, yes, sir, we can. Um, we are still doing dark knowledge. Yes, we are. Oh, one of these guys is supposed to be blood sacking. Four per put. Okay, so that is how many we actually want. We want to swap over to scryers now. One, two. We have one for the patrol. Three. Or, okay, we do have... I think we want to try to get... 10 or so? 100% sure about that, though. It's a very slow process over here. how well like three plague priests would do as just like a raiding force honestly I still think that there's a build that you go right like a, a blast that you go where you're really focused on um, sensor bears and you can kind of like use Plague priests with a little bit of thug gear because of their berserking. So you put some decent like protection on them and some um, relatively like killy bless, and then they just run in and they just just like whap the shit out of whatever they're up against, you know. Oh. I'm curious though. There's so, like, like so many other nations, um, I think Warhammer just, there's so many options for making things cool, for making them good, almost overwhelming at times. Take 
think that's actually all I can really do right now. Hold that thought. Oofa doofa. Bodis to Bodis. Body, body boy. Ah, good boy. Good boy. Okay, we got no more. I really need no more to find something. I need any of our side searching to find something. Gosh, unfortunate. Uh, we attacked in New Mecria, trying to throw Middenheim off of us. Fingers crossed. <laughs> the uh, weapons teams are lighting up existence. Okay, well, we definitely won. What did it cost us? 17 giant rats. Whatever. Two gutter runners. That's unfortunate. Two rat ogres. That's fine. For 47. That matters. Yeah. I say that matters. A lot of this is just crap. It's just massive amounts of chaff that the AI has thrown together. Uh, we attacked in Glanus, uh, trying to rebuff the Black Hawks here. Let's see if this went well for us. That's way too. Well, I'm probably going to be fine. Could have been cleaner, but that's fine. Uh, we attacked in Duoana and lost to our to heavy infantry. That's what we lost to. I was like, what did we, what? No, it was to heavy infantry. Heavy infantry, um, so the giant rats just have the scenario of, like, if you're not quite able, if you have just a little too much protection, they just, they just can't deal with you. So protection and then, like, the defensive shield is just, like, yeah, most of the time the giant rats just can't deal with you. So, it'd be what it'd be. Um, okay. Fair enough. And then we attacked in Dampdale... Uh, that worked. Warpstone Mine in Grain Coast lost. Turmoil and Magic in Holberg. And Unrest and Minus Population in... It's unfortunate. Okay, cool. Is he making more Tuscore Chariots here? I feel like I need to ping this place. I just, just want to ping it. Just to see what... Hey, Zan! Thanks for the Prime sub. That's appreciated. Very much so. How are you doing tonight? Cha-cha. I'm gonna ping this guy. Um, actually not gonna send in the rats. There's no reason to lose the rats. I'll just ping this guy and run. I just kind of want to see if he's making... I think he's just sitting here making more Tuscor chariots. Fucking with me. <laughs> You're tired. Daylight savings week is doom when you work in time. Interesting. I've never really thought about that. I'm also not sure how to process the phrase work in time. You work in time? Question mark. I that just sounds really interesting. Uh, that's me being nosy, by the way. Absolutely don't have to respond. But I am very sorry that you're tired, because that does suck. Uh, okay, we don't have the people. Oh, yeah. 
We don't have the individual to throw our uh, lightless lantern on there. That's fine, though. We can find someone to throw a lightless lantern on, like over here. Okay. Are we big enough to head towards the nearest asshole? The sooner we abolish daylight savings time, the better off we'll be as a country. You'd think this would be an easy bipartisan thing. I don't know. Like, I mean, I, I get the concept of like, oh, what's the point of daylight savings time? But there's a lot of different like math and science on either side. Granted, I've seen a lot of science that's like, we lose X amount of money, or we do this, blah, 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 blah. Thank you! I was like, okay, I literally had this conversation with Casey, like, like, this weekend. Because I was like, hold up, did I dream that we were ending Daylight Savings Time? Is this the last Daylight Savings Time? And, um... I just couldn't remember. I thought, I literally, after the conversation, I thought I just kind of like fever dreamed that that was a thing. But yeah, apparently I was not completely incorrect. I knew I'd heard something. You believe we're setting clocks back in spring and then never changing them again. Oh, shit. That's interesting. You work on a time management software. Oh, companies set up rules for things. They don't count on daylight savings time, so everything breaks around now. Okay, that's fair. You can't d wait for daylight savings time to go away. Well, you know, uh, wish granted, apparently. That's, uh, I never really thought about that. Like, yeah, I guess that does make sense for, like, time management softwares. I guess less the software, you know. It's more the people using the software not thinking about what's going on with it, right? So, that's kind of interesting. Um, what was this guy doing? Oh, this guy's kind of rare. Uh, 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 uh. I have him strange. I just had him blood sacrificing. Um, we continue to make doom wheels. <sighs> okay, I don't, I don't want, I really don't want to have to deal with this guy. Right? Like, I don't want to have to repel um, Midnight over and over again. Like, that is just not what I want to have to do. But he's making it what I have to do. I want... <laughs> I'm, I'm very displeased with you, Middenheim. I think we are actually going to boost our PD here in Numecria just a tad. That did that help us out with this um, whole shebang? Uh, some more Plague Priests. Some more Warp Thrower teams, I think. Okay, um, it is, I think, I think we go for it at this point, right? Like, we've got a pretty big stack here. We've got a reinforcing stack here. We're relatively unthreatened in a lot of locations. I think think we go for it, right? Like, we take 
these individuals, we march here. We do a pair of boots. This guy comes in here-ish and just does um, Strength of Giants twice. And then just cast spells. Maybe even three times, actually. And then can do Earth Power. Ah, Warp Static was one of those things that I wanted to test out. I still need to technically test that out. Fine. Right? Um, and then at the same time, so... I guess we hold one more turn, right? Because next turn, we go here and here. Makes sense. So, uno mas. What's up, Otis Botus? Not exactly looking super happy, my boy. My boy! This is what all true warriors strive for. I'm getting flashbacks. More elemental. I feel like so much of our game plan is now on elemental summoners. Which really isn't what I, I want to do necessarily. But like I don't know that we have much else uh, as an option. I grab uh, one of these and one of these. And dose. Boom. Swank. Um, we want. I think a couple more of these and then. Pop. Pop. I'd love, so here's part of the problem that we've had. Um, part of the reason why these turns are taking such a long time is I'm having to redo recruitment at almost every single one of our forts, but we're having to redo recruitment at every single one of our forts because we're not keeping every single one of our forts every freaking turn. So it's a kind of a huge pain in the ass. Um, not going to lie. I think I want to start up a big poison wind mortar manufacturer. Um, here. So we're going to try that. Here we go. We're going to send these guys as well. going to be a screen for us for now. Uh, we're going to get another couple. And then more warp lightning.
Hmm. Alright, it'd be what it'd be. Okay. Um, our... We're gonna test things next turn, hopefully, with our, um, Grace Ears. So again, we're gonna try to go for the problem. I say the problem. I don't. I don't think it's gonna work because um, there's too many magic weapons in the various units of the um, of the Warhammer roster, right? Like there's too many just miscellaneous magic weapons here or there. So I don't think it's gonna work because we're really kind of banking on invulnerability um, helping out. And like a little bit of maybe like body ethereal, but I don't, I don't think we, I don't think we've got it. <laughs> so, uh, but we'll see. We're still going to try. We found an oasis. Uh, plus one water gem. Fair enough. The mother oak. I was going to say, that better be, like, the best nature site. That better be, like, a plus four nature site to have the name the Mother Oak. And it's like, it's okay. Plus two. Use your witches. That's pretty neat, though. We don't, we don't have nature out of the gate. But we already have a nature two mage. Right, and a nature two mage can become a nature three mage very easily. Um, so I don't know that we care too terribly much about these. No more than just base. Uh, we have plenty of, uh, earth magic. Um, uh, okay, cool. Still, I mean, nice to have more nature gems, so that's good. Uh, we got attacked in Barm, uh, slapped, of course, ten, ten Tuscores. Oh, uh, God. Tuscor chariots are my nightmare. Uh, uh, we got hit in Delufe. No, we attacked in Delufe, and we won. Um, and we attacked in Rim Mountains. Uh, and... What? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. I pinged Rim Mountains because I was like, is that guy just sitting there recruiting fucking uh, Tuscores? But as soon as I ping it, he moves out. Um, and sure as shit, I don't think there were 10 Tuscores there last time. I think there were nine, like, three turns ago. Um, maybe, maybe there were 10. I don't know. These things are so cool. They're so good. Ah! Okay. Um, fudge. What are we doing? Unexpected events. Uh, we have found another warp stone mine in Holberg. Cool. Um, in Jira. Christ. Okay. In Grain Coasts. Goodness gracious. In Red Waste, we got some province income. That's nice. And in Grainport, we got a treasure. Holy shit. 1,400 gold and a Carmine Cleaver. What the fuck is a Carmine Cleaver? Oh! You almost never see this. Um, wait, isn't this a... Isn't this a unique? Hold up. Fire Earth. Maybe not. No, it's... Yeah, it's not. That's a pretty interesting weapon. Built-in fire shield and fire resistance. Part of the issue is it's two-handed. It's really hard. It's armor piercing. Decent attack value. And has the effect burn flesh. 20 armor piercing fire damage. This is a kind of an odd cross path, 
right? Like this this cross path isn't super duper common. Uh, Cause I'm sitting here going like, why don't I see this weapon more frequently in games? Cause this is pretty good. Like this is pretty damn good. But I think the reason why you don't see this a lot in games is cause it's a, a it's a little expensive, right? 15 gems is not super cheap. Uh, yeah, it's expensive. Um, but it's, that's cool. I can actually think of a couple of kits that I would be like, I'll throw this in. Like, it's, it's, hits hard enough that you can, with a strong unit, you can kill super combatants because of the armor piercing, right? Um, the 20 fire damage is pretty high fire damage, right? So you can potentially cheese through someone's, um, bit like low fire resistance and the built-in fire shield and fire resistance yourself is pretty nice like i might i might have to start looking for opportunities to use this i think again the issue being that you know not a lot of people have fire earth as a cross path um hmm. that's kind of cool that's kind of cool i'm gonna i'm gonna think about that I don't know who the fuck we use it on now. Uh, but, you know. I guess we could just throw it on a random <laughs> fucking warlord and just be like, yo, go for it. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, But yeah, that's nice. Cold plus one, unrest increased. We're, we're actually starting to run into a little bit of an unrest issue uh, because we are not... We do not have good control of our um, dominion at the moment. So we're not actually able to spread our amazing scales as well as we want to. Which is real fucking unfortunate. Like, I swear, I feel like the AI uh, the AI just dom pushes like crazy almost every game I play. Uh, we do have relatively low dominion, though, I think. Yeah, dom strength 3. That's, uh, that's a bit of our fault, I suppose. My god. How are we going to take care of that? Um, alright. Too many things going on. Uh, let's put our research items in place. Um, did we do it over here as well? Oh no, we got another fucking fuck. I forgot about that. Um, this needs to go back to recruiting, uh, these guys every turn. So that I stop forgetting that. Uh, this guy can go to as well. Search. Our research up to now. 1,100. All right, we will um, blast off with that amount of research uh, pretty rapidly, which is good. Let's actually check our scores real quick. Yeah, we're curving up pretty. Oh, wrong person. All right. We want to stop um, using Earth Gems. We should have stopped using Earth Gems for a while. 
Werewolf thugs? Ooh. Oh. Yeah, okay. I could see it. Werewolf thugs could be fun. I actually <laughs> have a bit of a werewolf thug going on in the uh, Nazca game right now. Which I don't really understand how it's happened. I've just had this werewolf survive so many things. Uh, that it's just kind of turned into this thug. Uh, so that's been fun. Okay, this is about to be a pretty sizable reinforcement. Um, and then I think with it and what we already have here, we can potentially launch assaults at Ockerjab, maybe up to Swamp of Solitude as well. Just kind of sneak back and forth there. Uh, ba -ba -bum. Also, be what it be. Gonna hang out here. I say that. Let's patrol. You guys can patrol. We'll grab another. Here. Remove into this location and. We need a. Big ol' stack of stuff going on here. I'm going to bring... About 40 or so... Um, boom, boom. Yes. 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 Uh, yeah, obviously him there. Uh, we want... Yeah, yeah, yeah. These two that are in question will say yes and yes. Um, and this. Want to just bring everyone. Yep. There's two people here. Um, and we've got a lot of stuff to be doing. You're going to be doing a um, Divine Blessing. And after that, there's a lot of different things that this person can do, but I actually just kind of want to keep safe. Um, you know what? Actually, do we have the darkness caster here? Don't think we do. Um... That was going to be any of the...
Darkness is not going to work unless I do uh, something like Power of the Spheres first, which I mean I can. It just feels like a little bit of a, you know what, here, we don't have to do Divine Blessing, we will do. We'll do Power of the Spheres and we'll do Darkness. Um, and then we'll do Luck and um, Body Ethereal afterwards and whatever else you want to do. We're going to need one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeesh. Third of gem usage, please. Um, okay. We're gonna have enough for a decent sized little uh, Sabbath when we decide that we need to pull it. Conservative. Um, this guy. Guy is going to be um, strength of giants, strength of giants, summon earth power, probably iron skin, temper flesh, cast spells. Um, not you. You are going to be. There and there. That's fine. Fire elementals, one, two, three, four, five, six. Fire elemental, four, five, six. Strength the giants, strength the giants. Um, this is going to be uh, earth elementals. Actually, don't want to use Earth Elementals. Are going. That's a whole lot of shit to be investing, honestly. Okay. 
Uh, especially since I think we're also going to be investing elsewhere. Um, we're going to have these guys out in front. Uh, what are we doing? I think this, this way. So. And I think we have a darkness caster. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, we have conservative gem usage. We have, um, darkness. I think darkness is going to be our play against corn. One of our plays against corn, obviously. Um, personal luck, um, body, ethereal, just stay alive. Survive. Um, yep, easy. Guard commander, guard commander, fine. We've got these guys, this guy, boop, boop, boo. Um, are we, are we just trying to, I think we're just trying to piggyback off of, what is this, seven doom wheels? I think that's the idea. Is we're just saying... Yo, seven doom wheels should be enough to fuck up um, this shit. We're going to attack here in corn. We're going to attack here in the below um, or maybe cliff coast. And yeah, we're just going to we're going to be like, go fuck yourself. Uh, let's look at graphs again real quick. Shit, I'm over on this episode. I apologize. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I just want to see this real quick before we throw out. Well, corn's actually in an uptick, so probably not going to go as well as we think it is, but we'll see. We shall see. Um, do I have... Rush of Strength is 8. Damn. That's okay. I still think we're probably fine. Um, and we're going to test out over here with Mris Mris Mriska. We're going to cast spells. We are going to um, Soul Vortex, um, Invulnerability, Phoenix Pyre, um, potentially body ethereal. That's a lot of fatigue now, though. 2020, 40. How much, uh, we have six invigoration. Sure, that works the way I want it to. Um... Hmm. I don't know. There's obviously plenty of other things that we could provide, but I don't know how I feel about more fatigue. I don't even know how I feel about the additional 30 from uh, Body Ethereal, so. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit at this particular juncture. But I think that might be a bad idea. Um, outfitting warp fire throwers is fine. I believe. Patrol, patrol, patrol. Yeah, we're all fine there. I think we want more of these.
Sorry, I'm trying to finish up this turn real quick. Oop. We have boom, 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 boom. That on repeats. I want to get back to the point to where I can start repeating. Um, Troll Province. Patrol Province. I feel sketch as fuck about that. Um, but I think we're going to try it. Fire. Hold an attack. Do yeah. five, six. See how that goes. Um, and we want some Oh no. Okay, we really need to get our um Focus. Focus, finish the finish. Finish the finish. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we are almost to the point to where we just have things on uh, repeat recruitment. That'd be great. So close. We actually kind of need some more uh, fortifications. Get one in Pastena. Uh, we're still kind of fucked up down here. Okay, sorry. Uh, distracted. That's going to be the end of this turn, I think, actually. Did I? I haven't really spent all my money. I can't really spend all my money. Wasting money time. That, and I also want to... Nope, can't do that. Scout there. Scout there. Gonna go this way. Scout there. Scout there. Scout there. We've been very just like... We have we have so, such easy access to so many scouts um and we've just been very just like no we're not getting you scouts <laughs> so yeah. all right that's gonna be the end of this turn um and that's gonna be the end of this video if you're watching on twitch stick around we're gonna keep playing if you're watching on youtube hope you enjoyed and we will see you next time for more dominions 5 scaven blight bye bye everybody bye bye oh bye. shit hey everybody thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps me out. If you'd like to see me live, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash the distant horizon.